Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how I Harry Pottered up my outlet cover. You can also use this method with a light switch cover. Additional information and the products and materials that I use will be listed below in the description box. First unscrew your cover or you can always buy a new one if you want to. Then print out whatever image you want. You can also use a page out of a book or even fabric. I'll be using this image and I printed it out on my inkjet Canon printer on regular printing paper. The measurements I used to print it out was 3.5 inches times 5 inches and to make it less grainy looking or whatever I changed the photo noise reduction to strong instead of normal and it made the image I used a lot darker which I really liked. But this option was on my Canon printing setup so I'm not sure how it will be on your computer but I'll leave a link to the image I used down below if you want to use it as well. Next you'll need Mod Podge and a sponge applicator or a brush. Apply a generous coat of Mod Podge to the top of your cover. Then flip your outlet cover and firmly press it onto the back of your image in the middle. Then flip it over and smooth it out to get rid of all the bubbles. Take your scissors and cut slits into the corners to help with the folding of the sides. Mod Podge the sides and fold down the flaps firmly making sure there are no bubbles. When you're done with that, take your scissors and cut off the excess around the cover. Then I took an X-Acto knife and cut out the open space in the middle. Coat your cover with Mod Podge with two coats, letting the first coat dry completely before adding your second coat. Boom! Nailed it! <laughs> I've decided to keep that boom nailed it because I had to do that what, that one part of the voiceover so many times because I get so tongue 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 tied during voiceovers. <laughs> I don't know. I can I love doing things, but me explaining what I'm doing is just it's I don't know. It's a mission. Anyways, you don't want to hear this, so let's just continue. So once you're done mod podging and drying and whatnot, take your X-Acto knife and do like a little X in the little holes where the nails are supposed to go. And then I took a brush that I had, the brush end that I have, and kind of poked it in. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys like this video and give it a go yourself. If you do, hashtag Potter Things on Instagram with your pictures. And maybe I'll repost it on my Instagram. So yeah, thanks for watching.